bartending at Longitude, and a kid swaggers up with a very impressive ID that shows his age at being squarely 17. I point it out and he says, Bruh. You're the first bartender I've met that can do maths. Ten minutes later, he walks by with a pint and gives me a thumbs up. Well done, mate. Congratulations on underage dr I can't say much, can I really? Yes, this is r slash casual UK, which is a collection of casual things here in the Britain land that we do and things uh, and all that. I, as you can see, am very British and indeed very casual. Uh, I'm so British that I've forgotten my cup of tea, which is a disgusting beverage, uh, and replaced it with Pepsi Max Cherry in a Foster's pint glass because I am classy as all hell. Anyway, let's uh, look at some, I suppose. <laughs> a big happy birthday to Lucy Scott, age seven, Harry Simpson, age seven, Ellis, age five, Telemac what? Telemachus. <laughs> Okay, Telemachus, age 10, Alex, age 5, Taylor, age 7, Yamna, age 7, Reese Houston, age 4, Ramdi Houston, age 4, Nara, this is all unimportant, isn't it? Namari, age 2, Jake Perkins, age 6, Dominicas, I'm. Uh, mm, shh. Tony, age 36. I, I do hope that Tony had a wonderful birthday at Legoland. Um. <laughs> Surely a 36-year-old would be a little bit too tall to get on most of the roads, I would have thought, at Legoland. I don't know, I'd never been to Legoland. Because I'm not named Tony or uh, age 36. Supermarket Savvy Dad saves £3,360 on kebabs and Chinese food by making his own fakeaways from home. This beast of a man and all of his creations, as you can see, is quite clearly the type of person who needs the encouragement um, by <laughs> conv <laughs> convincing himself that he's making a takeaway and he's actually eating a takeaway to be bothered to cook for himself, isn't it? Only a man that looks like this chap would have to convince himself he's eating a takeaway to make him be able to cook his own food. Oh, and they say millennials are, uh, are ruining the planet. When's your birthday? 22nd of February? What year? Every year. Now this is just a fantastic scene, isn't it? <laughs> I need to watch Hut Fuzz again, it's been a couple of months. Um, also, if, you're not, if you are a British human being, an English or Scottish or Welsh or Northern Irish uh, human being, and you haven't watched Hot Fuzz or Shaun of the Dead, and to a certain extent, World's End. If you haven't watched the Cornetto trilogy, or at least part of it, then what are you doing? You need to crack on and do that. That is uh, homework. Let's call that homework. This one is titled, Ladies and Gentlemen, I Give You the World's Worst Person. And it is quite clearly a douchebag with a homemade PVC pipe didgeridoo and a bongo drum. What? Get off the train! Don't do this. If you're going to do this, all right, go home. Take the PVC pipe that you've made, put it in a bag. Sit, you know, nice and small, like because we're English and we don't. And we're British, indeed. Sorry, no, I'm not forgetting Scotland. We're British and we like to sit in small places so that we don't uh, encroach on anyone else's personal space. Take your stupid didgeridoo thing, piss off, and go home, and uh, and play it there. Don't play this. Oh God. Look at how much, <laughs> look at how much room is has been created around him. People are squeezing into parts of the train that they shouldn't, they didn't need to be in. But this dick with his stupid, massive, bleh, bongo and bloody didgeridoo combination is taking up 18 square meters. I don't like it. I don't know if you can tell. Stop complaining about your life. There are literally people living in Kent. I've driven through Kent. Um, Well, that's all we'll say about Kent. If you live in Kent, then I'm sorry, and you should probably start a GoFundMe. Okay, this one's titled, Did anyone else used to love watching Scrappy Challenge back in the day? No one I know watched it. I used to sit when I lived in the north. Uh, there was not much to do there, so we, all, we always looked forward to sitting down at the dinner table with the little, um, 
uh, CRT monitor television uh, in the corner of the room on a big high shelf uh, and eat our our lasagna or spaghetti bolognese or whatever and watch Scrappy Challenge on a Saturday night. Oh, it was wonderful. Oh, lovely. Oh, it was so good. Uh, if you haven't seen Scrap Heap Challenge, you have to watch it. It's Robert Llewellyn, who's a nutter, um, being a nutter, and people who are usually confined to being in sheds. They're never really seen out in public much. They're usually in their own shed, but they're out here on television building ridiculous contra uh, contraptions. They built boats, they built aeroplanes at one point, they built loads of stuff. Go and watch it, go and find it. I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere. Wait, what? <laughs> this, ca this can't be real. P&O Ferries has, uh, has put out a, a reminder, a, a gentle reminder to guests that these toilets are not to be used for cottaging. <laughs> and, the <laughs> and the French translation is, Ces toilettes ne doivent. I can't speak French, by the way. Les toilettes ne doivent pas être utilisées pour le bon sexe. That can't be real. Someone's got to. This has got to be a joke. But what a wonderful joke it is. And I hope. I, I, I wish to God it was real, but it can't be. Okay, this one, this one's titled, My hometown really wanted to put up a historical plaque, uh, but struggled to find a noteworthy event to celebrate. <laughs> the Black Death entered England in 1348 through this very port. It killed 30 to 50% of the country's total population. That is a, that's a claim to fame, isn't it? Um, if someone asks you where you're from, oh, I'm from uh, wherever this is, some port. And now, what's that? What's that famous for? Oh yeah, it's the Black Death. Yeah, wonderful. What happy memories we have of that time as a town. Oh, we do love to celebrate that. <laughs> what Americans think British guys are like? My sweet darling, my heart yearns for your touch. Smoking. Uh, you know, Hugh Grant, basically, as they've as they've uh, illustrated here quite well. You know, we all smoke, we all dress very well, we have fluffy bouffant hair, it's delightful, and cheekbones and all that stuff. Uh, but what they're actually like is, I love fancy letting me have a go at that cash. <laughs> they are, it is, uh, you go out for a night out. I mean, uh, the age old phrase, we're not all like that, really, really does come in handy here um but my god this is accurate they're all out there they come out in track seats for some reason which seem to be solely used for going out in and lounging around in and wearing at all times except while running um yeah oh my god they've all oh the amount of spud faced people that you see in town centers around here uh, in England land and, and Scotland land and Wales land and Northern Ireland land uh, is excessive. Just looked up from my breakfast to see this and it's a cow. There is a cow at the window. Now this is a problem. If you live in the countryside and you like the clean air and um, the lack of people and the... Um, what else? Have, what else have we got? Oh yeah, nothing. Uh, but you will be you will be greeted by farm animals in different and interesting ways. You'll be going round a corner at night, you know. You might be tired because you've just come off a shift at work or something like that, and you're a little kind of little dazed and a little not with it. And then there'll be a deer there, or a cow, or a sheep, or a drunk druid, or something along those lines. It's just part of the uh, the charm, you could say. I'd love to see a TV job swap program where they get Japanese managers used to running hyper-efficient train or road repair companies coming to the UK and try to run their UK counterparts. I, I'm not going to do the accent because that would be the R word. What do you mean a 15 minute delay is acceptable and doesn't count as a delay? Why are there only four workmen on this seven mile stretch of motorway and three of them are watching the fourth one sweep? What is the point of at one o'clock in the morning 
when there has been no work carried out for the past, I don't know, 12 hours? Do you have to have a average speed camera system of 40 miles an hour along 10 miles of it? If you can give me one good reason why that is okay at one o'clock in the morning when no bugger is working, then I will be happy. Until then, I will just uh, increase my blood pressure to a dangerous level. Okay, I think we'll end on this one. This is just titled American Here, Did I Do It Right? Um, it's almost, almost spot on. You appear to have used streaky bacon rather than um, back bacon. The hash browns look a little bit weirdly flat. Um, and you put it on a square, um, I don't know, bougie, bourgeois kind of fancy plate. You should have put it on a piece of white crockery that uh, quite clearly hasn't been washed properly in about 30 to 35 years. Um, that's that's your only downfall, but apart from that, it's not too bad. Actually, yes, no, because everything isn't piled on top of the beans. You, you don't want to separate the beans so that you can, you know, have distinctive flavours. You want everything tainted with that sweet and sickly uh, bean sauce that overpowers quite literally any flavour in anything else at all. Uh, but beyond that, that's not too bad. And I think that will do it for r slash casual uk thank you very much for watching indeed if you enjoyed the video then do smash the ever loving silly boy out of the like and subscribe and share buttons uh, i think what you can do this time is i think you can get a full english breakfast uh, put it inside some cling film wrap that cling film up tie it off nice and tight make a nice uh, waterproof seal spill proof seal uh, grab yourself um, a slingshot make sure it's a nice big slingshot you know so you can get the big bag of disgustingness in there pull that back from a distance of 100 to 150 meters let that go and make sure it blows up all over your LCD monitor and I think that will do the job alternatively just push it uh, check out Instagram and Twitter links in bio below but beyond that thank you very much for watching again and bye for now <laughs>